some injuries and some portal turnover in that running yeah. back room. What do yeah. you see from Isaiah Harge today, and do you think he can uh, be a piece Isaiah of Isaiah is, is an athlete. This is a kid who came, receiver, flipped over to defensive back because we were desolate at that position. Um, he went back and blessed us and played running back for us and got it done. I mean, uh, he's an athlete. He's a ball player. He's never going to see him late for anything. You're never going to see him uncommitted. You're never going to see him uh, problems with grades. Yes, sir, no, sir type of guy, always on time. I, I love the young man. I, I really do. He's uh, He went out there and, and displayed his versatility tremendously. I love what he brings to the table, offensively or defensively. Hi, Coach Adam with Steiger, 24-7 you doing, Sports. You've spoken really highly of Charlie Offerdahl. Yeah. What was that moment like awarding him a scholarship? Wow. Teary, teary eyed. I mean, I was in there boo hooing like, uh, like I was part of the family, which I feel like I'm part of the family. Um, he was raised correctly, wonderful mother and father who supported him 100% of the way. His brother is going to follow in his footsteps with his toughness and physicality and stick to itness. Um, 4.0 student, right? Honor roll student. Charlie is, is the prototype man. He's a man. I, I love what he stands for. I love who he is. I love what he's about. And we wanted to trick him. And I told him a couple of days ago, I think he is going to win, uh, you know, player of the spring. And so that's the way we tricked him into bringing his parents over. And it was a tr tremendous moment. But it's nothing that we gave him. He took it. He flat out took it. And he earned it. And he deserved it. So God bless him. But And I told him at the conclusion of the game, the rest of the team, that who's next? Which walk on is next? Because we got room and we got time. Andrea Adelson, ESPN, for Miss Peggy, saying we're going to try to get to a, yeah. a bowl game. We're going to well, get it. I don't think you're going to get it. Yeah, there you go. The progress that you've made this spring and the last year and a half mm -hmm. that you've been here, where do you feel like that is? And what gives you the confidence to say we're going to get to that bowl game? Uh, the progress that we've made is it's another caliber player that's playing, a player that truly expects to go to the next level, meaning the NFL. They, they expect to be drafted Thursday, Friday, or today in the NFL and not free agency, although that's an avenue as well. These young men want to practice. They want to um, have each other's back. They want the physicality. They want all the smoke, uh, um, so to speak. I love what we're building um, in this locker room. And if you're not a part of that thought process or that desire, you don't fit. So now you see you, you, you see the gallop to the portal. You see that. But I, even with those guys, man, I wish them the best. I just don't want them to die along with the – how many is in the portal? Somebody – 3,500 young men. I just want you to have a plan before you go. Don't just go. Have a plan um, to enter, prayerfully a relationship that we could help you with so you could go to another uh, school and have an opportunity to continue your dream. That's, that, that's my problem with p people who just jump in the portal. Just have a plan. Coach, I know Pat Shermer said he was going to keep things pretty vanilla today, but even he, then, LeJonte Wester was still featured over and over. How nice was it to see Shadur looking for him, and what does he kind I, of add I, to that? I'm not going to say he was featured. I'm going to say that was his reads. Shador reads the defense, whatever they play, he makes the proper reads. He, he rarely misreads. So Wester was the guy. Um, one day it may be Jimmy. One play it may be Jimmy. It may be Travis. Um, you never know. Um, we have a plethora of receivers and four more on their way that I cannot wait to see them even work together this summer. I can't wait till they're up under the same roof. It's, it's going to be refreshing. It's going to be a blessing. It is going to be uh, uh, Shador is going to be the happiest young man in the building, I believe. My life sports radio. I miss you at the Super Bowl. I saw you walking around. We were out there, and the DMVR guys were out there, and Jake and those guys. Uh, also, <laughs> I have the shoes on from last year. Okay. All right. Thank gonna, you. The Air DT Max 96. How much influence did you have on the create of those uh, those shoes? A lot. Uh, did you? A lot. Those I'm things are amazing. When uh, they come out, by the way. Well, I have no idea. I'm not the kind of guy that just lets you create something and put my name on it. I don't strike you that way. I don't imitate uh, that that person of of non-inclusion. I'm not like that. So uh, when it comes to anything, design, shade, shoes, uh, phone, anything, I, I'm, I'm truly involved. Jimmy, sir, what do you see out of the offensive line today? Um, protection, um, commitment. We we're able to run the ball, throw the ball, but, you know, that's against our own players. No one 
loses in the spring, everyone wins. You're playing against one another. You got to win. So I know what I want and I know what I desire. And those guys are really close. And uh, not just the starters, just having the depth. And the depth is on the campus right now that's committing left and right. I don't know if we – have we released the commits? Because there's been several that's committed. It's I think it's a couple more here right now. Well, I think it's about five more that's here right now that's committed. I don't know if we released it yet. But you'll hear about it really soon. We're waiting on compliance. Excuse me? We're waiting on compliance, so do the paperwork. Oh, okay. I don't know what you said, but it sounds good. <laughs> I, I trust you. Good afternoon, Coach Prime. Mike Lyle, KUNC Radio. How are you, brother? How you doing, sir? I'm doing good today. Um, I know you're evaluating everybody as part of the spring game, but mm. what, is, what stood out with you and Shadur's performance today? Um, I don't just go by the day. I get reports every practice, every day, and I like to see completions. I like to see uh, footwork. I like to see the understanding of, of what he's doing. Um, he's doing some some tremendous things. Like sometimes we don't know stuff because I even jumped to conclusions one time. Like get rid of the ball, get rid of the ball. He said we blew a route. Get rid of the ball, get rid of the ball. That wasn't a read. You know, it's you just never know. So I learned to just shut up and wait till I understand the play. Like, Pat, what was that? Then he tells me what was going on, what was supposed to happen, and who didn't do what they were supposed to do. But um, the kid has a commitment to excellence. I think we had a quick walkthrough yesterday. He was out there throwing after a, a quick walkthrough yesterday. That's just who he is, trying to get ready and prepared for today because everything is uh, now. Everything is now about this team. Everything is now about him. Everything is now about the progress. I just want to see him uh, get it out of there and, and just take what they give you. I always say, take what they give you. Sometimes he wants the big play, like take what they give you. Sooner or later, we're going to run out of field, and sooner or later, that means we're going to score. I love that aspect of him. But the kid can flat out play. I think one of you magazines, I don't know which one, I think they rated him or ranked him uh, potentially the number one guy. Why is the problem when I say that? It's a song, and in the rap song it says, cool when you do it, but it's a problem when I do it. Why is it a problem when I tell you what you just said? Because I beat you to it? Or it's my son? Like it or not, we're going to have a couple guys go to the top five picks. I don't care how you cut it up. And uh, the way we're recruiting right now, we may have several in the first round. Speaking of one of those top five picks, to move him around. Yeah, he's going to be moved around. As a corner, why is that so important for his own development moving forward? Um, I don't think Travis really needs that type of development. Travis is going to excel at whatever you place him. He's that kind of kid. He has that kind of character. He's that he's that kind of worker. He studies. He prepares. He loves the darn game of football. He loves to practice. He loves to play. You see him. Time he's done with the darn offense, he's running over to the defense. I mean, who, who does that and don't ever complain? So um, just – Moving inside, just give us more depth. I don't know if he's going to start there. I'm pretty. I know he's going to start, but I know I don't know if he's going to start in the slot or outside. Whatever's best for us, because uh, Preston is doing a wonderful job as well. So uh, you, you probably didn't get the chance to see him in the spring play in the slot, but he's really good. He really is. So we just wanted to see um, a little more depth and versatility, and we got four more cor four more corners coming. Doing. Good. How are you? You on the camera today? Yeah, I'm in the back today. Switching okay. it up. Um, <laughs> another big recruiting weekend for you. When you meet with these prospects, what is your message to them? Um, I don't sell anything because I don't have anything for sale. I, I don't. I don't sell them dreams. I don't sell them hope and sell them wishes. I tell them everything they they, they get. They're gonna have to earn. I don't promise you a number. I'm not promising you a position. I'm not promising you to start. If you want it come and get it. We don't sugarcoat anything. We're not going to baby you. We're not going to hold your hand. You have 127 years of NFL experience up under this roof. It's on you. We are a tremendous navigational system to the game that you want to play. We know what we're doing. We pretty much, we know how to get there because we've been there, uh, especially as a collective group. So it's Sometimes the, the, the conversation gets repetitive, and I don't like that because it is what it is. I, uh, if you want money, go to that department and talk about that. But I'm not the guy to talk about that. I want to talk about football. So if it's a business deal, that's something else. I want you to come here for football. Now, once we get the football together, if the business works, let's do it. But don't come here for business. 
And then the secondary thought process is football. I'm a football coach and I love the game. Now, what separates me from everyone else, I feel good right now. What separates me from everyone else is I've sat in three seats. I gave you a dramatic pause so you could follow me. I'm the parent, right? A couple of kids in college football. I've been the kid, right? I was a straight dog. Now I'm the coach. I know what the whole room's thinking. It's a tremendous advantage. And I absolutely love it. And we don't talk about any other university, any other college, any other coach. That's a rule here. We don't put anybody down to come up. Say lie. Hey, Coach. Uh, Jeremiah Brown's been with you for quite a while. Yeah. Um, he made some plays out there today. Yeah. What's the process been like for him? Making that change from Jackson and last year, not playing maybe as, as much as he did at Jackson, but what, what does he look like at this point in that process? Jeremiah right? had to decide what he wanted to be. At one point, he wanted to be an inside backer. Then he wanted to be an outside guy, a pass rusher. Then he wanted to be an inside guy. Then he changed again to an outside guy. I think he's nailed down what he desires uh, for himself. Funny, he got up and was talking junk after he made the tackle for loss, and I ran over to him and I said, you still can't beat me fishing. <laughs> I really said that. He said, yes, I can. So that's the kind of banter we have because that's my that's my opponent when it comes to fishing. Hey, Coach. How you doing, sir? Um, I'm glad you mentioned the, the recruiting a little bit. Uh, you, you've talked about one getting your face on these mountains here and the, your long-term commitment here. That's, that comes with winning. I right. talked about winning. Right. 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 And, but you got a handful of these kids from 20, class 25 now coming. Yeah. And more, and more on the way. Right. And a lot of those moms and dads are here today. What, what do you say to those moms and dads and those kids? Because they're asking you, hey, are, are you going to be here for me year two, year three? And what do you, well, how do you assuage their concerns? I, I, I tell them the truth. I tell them I'm a, I'm a father, not a baby daddy. I don't follow my kids. I pave roads for my kids. I build uh, generational wealth for my kids. I lead my kids. I don't follow my kids. So I, I do not plan on following my kids to the NFL. But, but I'm thankful. I'm glad that you already um, pretty much put them in the NFL. <laughs> that means you believe in them uh, wholeheartedly. But I'm not that kind of father. I have work to do here. I absolutely love it here. Uh, it's beautiful here, especially yesterday it was. <laughs> Knowing this weather, it's going to be beautiful tomorrow because we have no commitments on the field. So I, I absolutely, I, I'm serious. I, I absolutely love it here, man. I really do. And I would never think a, a young brother from the South would really love it in this part of the country, but I really do. And Sap, we talk about it every day. He's driving up to the mountains doing things and just taking pictures and uh, love the snow and texting me with all the stuff. They sent him on Instagram for the different retreats or places to, to frequent that are beautiful. So we, we love it. I would love to be a little more adventurous and go see other things. Like I want to go to the hot springs things. Is that, is the water really hot? Because I, I don't want to get there and the water's cold. And now I'm mad. I've driven uh, several hours. I'm mad. So I, I want to go do that. Uh, I don't really fly fish, but I'm, I've been known to be fly when I fish. <laughs> I want to do that. You know, it's a few things I want to do here that I hadn't done. I want my own jet ski line. Yeah, the Prime Mobile. I want that. Um, I'm working on that right now. But I, I love uh, everything about this part of the country and the fan base that we have here. I just want to really bless you with a tremendously um, successful team. I really do. That's my heart. We good? God bless y'all. Who's going to the concert tonight? Just one black woman. Y'all got to stop. Come on now. Good Lord. Can we all get along? You got to work you tonight? Who got to work? What y'all doing at night? What kind of reporting going on at night? Who? Oh, I forgot that basketball stuff is going on. My take on it is too many darn teams make it to the playoffs. How can you have 20 teams make it to the uh, – it, 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 you take all the fun out of it. You can't be 50-50. You can't be 50% and make it to the playoffs. You, that, that's, come on. Coach, 
I don't know. I don't follow it like that. I follow players. I don't follow the, the teams. I don't do that. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, you're right. I think that's the that's it. You're you're absolutely right. I didn't think of it that way. Shoot. <laughs>